if y'all don't know who is the best at doing this social media stuff, and not even just social media, probably the funniest, it's Sydney Colson. Being in the limelight, she was hilarious from the jump. So I followed her before I even knew her, like on Instagram, because I thought she was funny. You kind of got cooked on Twitter today by Asia. I know, right? Sid scores two points in game four. I think she's going to get Usher tickets. Oh. It's been basketball for such a long time because that's what I played. But I don't know that God put me on earth just for basketball. And I think that my purpose is something bigger. And for me, no matter my circumstances, to show, like, joy. You need to not touch her. Uh, don't uh, touch me! I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. Well, we'll I like to have fun with people. I like for people to have a good time. I'm glad that it makes people happy because it makes me happy. <laughs> This, this, you I didn't know this sex this was. Stop talking. She's such a light in any room that she's in. Her wit and sense of humor is is bar none. TP, I'm I'm in an interview. This is so unprofessional. We're talking about fashion in the W. First of all, thank you guys for having me today. From ballerina tutu to camo hunting overalls, Sydney can probably pull it all off. You don't get embarrassed by anything, and fashion <laughs> is confident. People forget that she's actually a hooper because of who she is off the court. But I think when you can shine in more than one area of your life, I think that's a divine calling. You know what else the W needs, though? The C to TP show. You're not going to remember Sydney Coulson for basketball. You're going to remember her for what she does after or what, how she uses basketball to expand her career. WNBA's finest, two-time champion, Texas native. Sid the Kid! Vegas! What more do I have to do? Make some f***ing noise! Let's go! Well, before I met Sydney, I actually had to work her out prior to training camp. And I always like to, once I get into conversation, ask, you know, what is your dream? Like, what's your passion? And she goes, well, low key, she goes, I want to be an actress. My TV journey has been, honestly, just the sit and TP show. I, I've been taking acting classes since, like, 2020, but I still had never been on anything because I would take classes and then I would go play in a W season or take classes and something else would be coming up where I'm always, like, taking a break, so it's never just been consistent. So really, this show, um, the sit and TP show, and being able to have some like written sketches where TP and I actually acted. For me, it was like, okay, seize the moment and take advantage of this opportunity. Wow. Faces of the league. Faces Here of we the are. freaking league. <laughs> you know how many times I've been called the face of the league in the first 10 years of my career? Zero. In the past three months? <laughs> countless. countless. Countless times. For us to be a 10-year vet who have never played super significant minutes on a team, TP says a line like in our show that's like, you know how hard it is to maintain a job with zero stats? <laughs> Which is like, <laughs> there's nothing that would make people who haven't watched our sport look at a piece of paper and say me or TP should still be in the league. Dang, we need that on the We team. need that. I need that point to I need assist. That. <laughs> I need that point to assist over eight years from Sid. It's amazing to me how people have these outside opinions. Obviously, they don't matter, but those people don't understand basketball. Those people don't understand team dynamics. Those people don't understand players that make an impact. Anything going to their left, just like with Sabrina, you're going to have time to relax on that song. Cindy's a leader, and she runs that gray squad. <laughs> You gotta go to the middle, bring it to the middle, talk to her, but we're running away to try to catch up with Dennis. But off the court, um, it's so cool to see her thrive. I mean, when Cindy walks into a room, you feel it. I knew the premiere, it's big, like we have a TV show, that's nothing to just like overlook. My girlfriend saw that that was a moment that, you know, should really be celebrated, and so she did a lot of organizing to get that done. Just the team showing up in that way and some of the coaches being there too. Like it was just, the support is I think what made me really emotional. <laughs> you know, it's cool just to see the excitement um, on her face. I know this is something that she's worked really hard for. So just being able to support her during uh, this important moment in her life is cool. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you all for just like, let us be ourselves and just, you don't realize you've changed your lives in a major way. I know me, but like also Sid, like to be able to be comfortable in our own skin and like be able to broadcast it for the world to see. It's not easy to be dumb, 
<laughs> you know that that's a moment that I'll be able to forever look back on. You know, if I'm lucky enough to ever be on a TV show, to be in a movie, something like that, like this will always be my first premiere moment. So I have something to surprise you with. Sydney Colson, she's just one of those special people. Hi, it's little Sid. She has this personality off the court that, you know, is very communal. She brings people together, honestly, through laughter and storytelling and just being a good person. I don't like the fact that it's two of you. No. That experience, like, everybody loved it. It made you excited about Media Day. It made you want to give that energy for what the fans are going to see on the green screen stuff. Vegas, I want you to scream like I'm chasing you. <laughs> Vegas, I'm serious. Here's Sydney! I don't know if it's hilarious because I know Sydney, so I'm laughing even harder. But I even think if a casual person that didn't know or watched, they would laugh too. So um, she's my family's favorite player. <laughs> I don't think it's close. Cha cha. Hey. Cha cha. Hey. <laughs> Sydney, as a basketball player, doesn't get the credit that she deserves because of you know how great she is as a as a person and as an individual. And you get caught up in the jokes and the humor that she provides and the lightheartedness that she that she brings, which is all super valuable and super important. But uh, she can hoop too. She has proven herself that she can not only affect defensively, but then she can go in there and shoot a spot up three or, you know, shoot a floater. And she brings a spark. Like Sid just plays with this amount of energy, but amount of maturity as well. With the shot, hits the three. You would never be able to tell a common fan or anyone that Sidney Colson will be in the game at final moments of a game four. And I love that because people see Sid laughs and I get it. Sid is a great person, huge comedian, but I hate when people try to act like she doesn't have the mind of the basketball game that we play. Ace is running, Colson behind the back. Ford can't finish it, but a foul. And how about not being a part of the rotation? Confident enough to make a pass like that in a tie game waiting moments of the third quarter of the final. And that's why I love when she's in those moments because she shows you, I'm real, I do this. Yes, it lasts, cool, ha <laughs> ha. But when it gets between them lines and it's 94 feet, Sid is someone that takes her matchup so personal that it's like, nah, she really, she like that, she a dog. So I got two words to say. I think coming from that experience of being a champion, she understood that it, it takes a lot, mentally and physically, and so she came into camp ready. Whoever needed help, boom, Sydney was right there. On the release, you go get the shooter. We're pinching on Kia's side, so okay. two people on that side. Get in the gap, KB, yup, yup, yup. Cause, cause they at a disadvantage out here. They finna get crossed and taken to the basket, you know, but if we're right there, we deter that drive from happening. And again, her giving heart, not a lot of people like to do that. Some people like to, you know, if they're competing for a spot, they're just like, no, nah, I'm not gonna help you. That's not how Sid operates. He goes here and they cut or something, like, you might have to take it. Yeah, Low gotta and take it. And she goes. That girl knows how to fill a locker room with so much joy and happiness and thankfulness <laughs> and allowing others to be great right along with her. As goofy as she is, she's, she's the adult in the room at the same time. She rides that line really well of when she can be goofy and when she needs to be adult. And she's real, and I think that's what people gravitate towards. You're my favorite! I love you! I love your goofiness! It's great to be a part of a championship culture where people are constantly trying to excel. You know, we're not just like complacent. It's like, yeah, we won, but like we also want to make sure that we're doing the things to ensure that even when these players are gone, excellence is what is the standard here. She's great at basketball, she's a competitor, she knows what it takes to win, but she has so many ideas, and like, you can't just label her as a basketball player. Like, she is so much more. You know, it's amazing that a year ago, this was a dream of hers, and she was able to accomplish it. You know, with being a professional athlete, with showing up every single day, again, for her teammates, and being the heart of our team. So, whatever goal it is, whether it's being an actress, being a basketball player, I mean, she's gonna accomplish it.